financiering van de bank en verzekeringen. Goedenavond iedereen. Welkom in Mechelen. Welkom in de Mekkerhal voor Vlaanderens kerstjumping, de Memorial Erik Wouters. We zijn toe aan dag drie en we zijn vooral toe aan het letterlijke en het figuurlijke hoogtepunt van deze dag. Mijn collega Frederik de Bakker die haalde de prijs KBC Bank en Verzekeringen daar net al aan als een traditie, een museumstuk, zei hij zelfs. En eigenlijk heeft hij gelijk, want de prijs KBC Bank en Verzekeringen zorgt keer op keer, elk jaar weer, voor spektakel en suspense. Ze zijn vanavond met 46. 46 combinaties treden aan in de basisomloop van de prijs KBC Bank en Verzekeringen. Stuk voor stuk zijn er kleppers. Er zijn jonge Belgen, er zijn ervaren buitenlanders. Er is het nummer 1 van de wereld, Hendrik von Eckerman. Er zijn toppers, oude rotten in het vak aanwezig als een Roger I. Vost bijvoorbeeld. Er is de winnaar van de wereldbeker hier vorig jaar in Mechelen, Willem Vermeijer, die zal aantreden. Eigenlijk een hele lijst. De lijst is haast te lang, maar we moeten wat vaart maken. We zitten iets achter op schema, maar die tijd die halen we dadelijk wel in. Er wordt dadelijk een basisomloop gereden. Toegestaan aan tijd, die geven we u zo dadelijk mee. Die is uh, niet onbelangrijk, op uh, zijn minst op zijn zachtst gezegd. We moeten de ruiters in de gaten houden. En zij die foutloos springen, zonder een springfout te maken. En winnaar die toegestaan aan tijd, eindigen, die mogen door naar de barrage. En de barrage van de prijs KBC Bank en Verzekeringen. Die is uh, van heinde en ver gevreesd, want daar wordt altijd verschroeiend hard in gereden. Maar er staat dan ook wat op het spel. Niet alleen prijzengeld, maar ook de eer om voor een bomvolle nekker al vooraan in de prijsuitreiking te staan. Daar gaat het hem allemaal om, hier uh, vanavond in Mechelen. Vorig jaar was het Lars Kersten die met de hoogste eer aan de haal ging. Pieter de Vos werd tweede vorig jaar met zijn Claire Z. Willem Greve werd derde, Nicola Filibaerts vierde. Enkel Lars Kersten is vanavond niet in ons midden. De andere drie zijn dat wel. Voor het uitkijken naar de prestaties van alle toppers ter wereld, maar natuurlijk ook van onze Belgen. Want het zijn die Belgische ruiters die van het Mechelse publiek altijd dat extra duwtje in de rug krijgen. We gaan er binnen enkele minuten, binnen enkele ogenblikken aan beginnen. Maak het u gemakkelijk, maak het gezellig. Ik hoop dat u wat te drinken en te eten heeft, want het komende anderhalf uur heeft u bijzonder veel te bieden. Dan gaan we er een paar minuten uit, dan gaan we de barrage opbouwen en uh, dan is het tijd voor die effectieve barrage van de prijs KBC Bank en Verzekeringen. Met 46 zijn ze in de basisomloop. Het is een vijfsterren rubriek. De hindernissen staan op een hoogte van 1,50 meter. werd gesloten ter verkenning. The arena is now closed for inspection. La piste est fermée pour la reconnaissance. Dus als we zo vrij mogen zijn om de ruiters te vragen de piste te verlaten, zodanig dat wij aan de opbouw van onze prijs KBC Bank en Verzekering kunnen beginnen.
Dus KBC Bank en Verzekering. Een vijfsterren rubriek. 1,50 meter. Van opzwepen gesproken, een tenderende, spetterende lichtshow. Om u als publiek klaar te maken en op te warmen voor de prijs KBC Bank en Verzekering. Well, a very good evening and a warm welcome back to uh, Belgium here at the 2023 edition of Jumping Mechelen. Of course, it's building towards the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup of Mechelen that takes place here on Saturday afternoon. But this is the first of the real big five-star competitions. Of course, yesterday we saw the Masters for the top ten and the Open Science of the World for the Stallions. But this is the first opportunity that many of the top international riders get to flex their muscles and show their steel here in Mechelen. The KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy here this evening. And as we would expect, a strong field coming forward to compete here in Mechelen. There's a field of 46 joining us for the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy of 2023. As these riders really look to get a foothold into the competition and build on their results here this evening on to tomorrow night's Grand Prix and then Saturday afternoon's launching FEI Jumping World Cup qualifier. Very strong field of riders from the home nation of Belgium, but several different nations represented here in Mechelen. It looks set to be an interesting and intriguing competition for the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy of 2023 and as you saw then the build-up is quite electric the atmosphere buzzing here in the christmas arena even in the early competitions this week the crowd have been tremendous but it's a full house for the kbc bank and visa clearing trophy here this evening and they will be right behind each and every one of their belgian riders competing here tonight the course, again, has been designed by Bart Vonk and Eddie Geismans. It's 13 numbered obstacles, 16 jumping efforts. No triple combination this evening, but three doubles at four, at seven, and at 10. Finishing, though, on a line vertical to Oxa 12 to 13. Well, where do we start this evening? The smoke just starting to lift here in the Christmas arena. And no better place to start than the world number one. You can see the white armband there on the left arm of Henrik von Eckermann to signal that he is 
the very best in the world of show jumping right now. And with his results, you can't argue it, can you? World Cup winner, world champion, member of Swedish teams that have won gold medals at world and European championship level as well. He is the best in the business. He's in the form of his life right now. And he gets us off and running in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy, the 2023. Riding the 10-year-old mare by Cardento, a very popular sire used in Sweden. This is Iliana and Sweden's Henrik von Eckermann. Op dit moment de allerbeste ruiter ter wereld. Het nummer 1 van de wereld, dames en heren. Al meer dan Just taking a moment or two to settle. Been in tremendous form over the past few weeks. Madrid and Coruña placing in the World Cup qualifiers there, but this mare is very hot. She's very buzzy. And I think the longer she has to wait, the harder the job will get for Henrik von Eckermann here this evening. Just doing everything he possibly can to keep the mare's nerves in check difficult with a roar from the crowd like that here in the christmas arena henry von ekman for sweden eliana It's a really good opportunity to see how the course is going to ride this evening as we start with that Carlsberg vertical fence, number one. Right hand curve across the Christmas arena, the BMW Oxer at two, and then that vertical above the water tray, fence number three. Slight moment to catch the breath before the first of the three doubles. The Longine fence is there, Oxer to vertical, 4A and 4B, the A element going there for Henrik von Eckermann. But then up and over the Oxford that follows at five. Step expense, six strides down to a double of verticals, the KBC bank fences, 7A, 7B, the Euro horse Oxer fence number eight. Eight strides on the right hand curve into the third and final double vertical to Oxer, 10A to 10B. Now three fences from home, so on the four faults at the moment. Fence number 11, and then that vertical down to the KBC Bank, the sponsor's fence, the Oxer to complete. So finishing there on the 469.97 is just over the time allowed as well. So uh, time allowed 69 seconds, four for jumping, one for time. And it's a score there for Henry von Eckermann and Ileana of five. But I can guarantee this next rider will get a huge roar from the Belgian crowd here. It's the first for the home nation. What a talent this young man is. He helped the youth European Championship team win gold last summertime back in 2022. That very summertime, he went on to compete on the Nations Cup team at Hickstead and to win the Grand Prix there, the King George V Gold Cup. Gilles Thomas and Elfra van Beekzed. So a competition with a jump off against the clock for those tied on equality of faults for first place at the end of this opening round. So very good possibility that it will be all the clears that head through. It's a big ox at that step expense. Gilles Thomas just cut the corner ever so slightly, but back on track now. Nine-year-old by El Salvador, this one a stallion. B should be okay for time. 69 second time allowed. 
to take a, a check down this final line. He's lucky there at the penultimate fence. Is this going to be the first clear? 67-77. Yes, it is. The young talent from Belgium keeps on producing, and he's doing it on home soil here in Mechelen. The first clear of the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy goes to Gilles Thomas and the nine-year-old Elfra van Beekzet. Really good round. He rode his luck down that final line. Fence number 12 probably still shaking in the cups, but they're in the cups, and that's all that matters. Clear for Gilles Thomas. For France now, Philippe Rosier and the 10-year-old Dirty Sweet. What a career this man has had. Second in the World Cup final back in 1987. Then went on to ride for France at the Rio Olympic Games in 2016 and helped them to the team gold medal. But an early fence down for Philippe and Dirty Sweet. Final line now for Philippe Rosier and Dirty Sweet. He's on that four from very early in the course. I think that red vertical might catch a few out throughout the course of this competition as well. So 68-21, he's inside the time allowed, but it is the score of four there for France's Philippe Rosier, Olympic gold medalist with the 10-year-old black corner to Blensky, Dirty Sweet. I'm surprised that he's faulted at that fence so early in the course. The BMW Oxer beside the crowd. Fence number two down, but it is one clear at the moment for Belgium's Jill Thomas. But Belgium go again. And this man placed in the World Cup qualifier of Poznan earlier this year. This is uh, Frederick Vanat and the nine year old Toulon side mayor, Akina van der Bien. right behind him here this evening supporting the Belgian riders every stride along the course year after year we see it here in Mechelen where the Belgian riders seem to find that extra little inch that makes all the difference and there we see it once more Frederick Van Aert 66.97 clear round number two and they're both for Belgium that'll please the crowd here in the Necker Hall so clear for Jill Thomas clear for Frederick Van Aert four gone and two clear it's been a very good start to the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy this evening but what can this young man from Switzerland do Send shockwaves through the show jumping world as he won the Dublin Grand Prix last summertime. Was then selected to ride at the World Championships, the Nations Cup final. And then this year, has seen him ride at the European Championships and a World Cup final as well. This is Switzerland's Eduard Schmidt and Kuno. Big stretch over the Cefex Oxer. Maybe a 
bit of slight hesitation into that double of verticals, but helped him in a way because they have to be so careful to jump through those two verticals. Jumped some really good rounds on home soil in Geneva as well. Didn't quite have the luck with him there just a week or so ago. Could the luck be on side here for Edouard Schmidt? Can't afford a check. Is he going to be inside the time allowed? It's going to be very close, but he is. By 0 0.06 of a second, clear round number three. Got a run of them here now. Edouard Schmidt through to the jump off with Kuno, joining Frederick Vernat and Gilles Thomas. But Ireland go next. Ireland with two riders here in the five-star competitions this week. Jack Ryan, one of them, Jessica Burke, the other. Jessica with the 10-year-old mare. This is Nike H. H. She's been based in England for a while now, has Jessica. Some tremendous form on the national stage there, but she was quite brilliant. Finished seventh in the Agora earlier this afternoon. Second in the four-star Grand Prix of Rouen just a few weeks ago as well. Want some of the big national Grand Prix at Hickstead back in the summertime. And she would be one of the most exciting riders to watch against the clock. She is unbelievably quick. She's got just one fence to jump to head through to that jump off and look at the time in the first round as well. 62.57, there's another clear, clear round number four. Ireland's Jessica Burke and Nike H. H. Well, some of the world's very best with us here in Mechelen, and they're proving that point, aren't they, this evening in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. Just six have gone, and already there's four clear rounds on the scoreboard, and this man could give us number five. He was third in the Masters here yesterday evening. We've seen him place in the World Cup qualifiers and the Grand Prix here in Mechelen before now. Riding Team Philip Hart's eight-year-old Precious versus Hagen, Belgium's Olivier Philip Hart's. Five rounds in the Masters yesterday evening to finish third. Competition that brother Nicola Philipparts won. Younger brother Thibaut Philipparts, winner of the Open Sires of the World yesterday as well. He quite early in the draw that looked a little bit close to that time allowed but I think the riders have now become wise to it well we thought it might catch a few out and it definitely catches out Olivier Philip Hart 68.14 and it is just the four for Olivier and the eight-year-old Precious versus Hagen but it's good to see the eight-year-old starting to come through now to the top level of the uh, sport, of course, turning nine in just a few days' time. So really starting to make the step up to top-level international jumping now, and that's an eight-year-old to look out for next year. Precious vs. Hagen and Olivier Philip Hartz finish on four. But from one of Belgium's very best to another, Niels Bruinseels and Matador.
Niels, who in recent years has won the Grand Prix here in Mechelen on two occasions, 2017 and most recently 2019. Made that competition his own over the past few years. Not the stride he wanted going into that double. But he's straight up to his feet. And the horse there, Matador. So brave to give it a try. just making the most of his ring time there in the Necker Hall. So, is Seals gives him a pat there in 11-year-old by Emerald. And they'll be back. More competitions still to come. Of course, Niels, two-time winner of the Grand Prix here in Mechelen. He'll be looking to regain that crown here tomorrow night, but not to be. Sadly, elimination there for Niels and Matador. But if we look towards the bottom of the screen, making his way across there, we can see Hans Dieter Dreyer. Henry on his way in, but it's Hans that goes next. German rider that was placed on home soil in Aachen back in the summertime. He was top 10 in the Grand Prix of Geneva. And placed in the Agora Trophy earlier this afternoon. Germany's Hans Dieter Dra and the 14 year old gelding by Paolo Beta Rue. Vestmal de Coty. Surprising actually that we've got so many clears because this is a very big testing track set there by Bart Vonk. Those riders very early in the draw, Jill Thomas, Frederick Vanat, Edward Schmidt and Jessica Burke made it look very easy indeed. But then we've seen Olivier Philippart, Neil Sprointsils and now Hans Dieter Dreher begin to struggle. Showing that it's not a walk in the park out there. It is going to take some jumping for the KBC Bank and Visa Caring Trophy. Folks, that goes up to 12 now with that red vertical falling. 12 for jumping and a touch of time, 13 in total for Germany's Hans Dieter Dreher and Vesmal de Coty. So it is the uh, four clear so far. Olivier Philippart's the fastest of the uh, four falters. He's in fifth, and then Philippe Rosier in sixth place at the moment. We see Henrik von Eckman and Ileana in seventh with the five penalties. But Belgium are back again. This man has won some very big Grand Prix in his time last year. The Grand Prix winner here in Belgium at Centaur. Grand Prix winner in the UK at Bolsworth back in 2019. Rick Hemmerich here, the 10-year-old guarding Navarro Van Het Eelshoff.
little bit of a rattle jumping into that double. Gets away with it though, Rick Hemerick. The rider that year after year really grows and increases in stature in front of the home crowd here in Mechelen. Just has to steady up to that red vertical, but he doesn't. Let's the horse run on down and tips it behind for a score of four, 66.17 for faults. Rick Hemerick and Navarro Van Het Eels Hoff. So 10 of the 46 have gone so far and of those we've got the four clear. Belgium with two, Switzerland with one and Ireland with one as well. Just let the horse run down that curved line to the red vertical and pays the price for Hemerick. But now to Norway. Victoria Gullickson. Her father, Jimmy, Gia Gullickson, was in incredible form in London just over a week ago. This lady was placed in the Grand Prix of Helsinki. Victoria Gullickson, Equine America, Papa Roach. about to say she'll be so frustrated she finishes with just that first fence down euro horse down as well so uh, turning down that final line 12 raised then to 16 that's where she finishes, 66.25, 16 for Norway's Victoria Gullickson and Equine America, Papa Roach. She sprung on a higher level, on a much better way, with much better So the bell sounds for the uh, next to go. And in a moment or two, we're going to be graced with the presence of Leopold van Aston. He's ridden for the VDL stud for a long, long time now. And he's next to join us here, riding VDL Group, Nino de Rotton. Been a big Grand Prix winner in his time. Double Grand Prix winner in Corinna back in 2014, winning both their summer and winter Grand Prix. This season he placed in the World Cup qualifier of Helsinki, along with Victoria Gullickson, who we saw just a moment ago. Leopold van Aston for the Netherlands. VDL Group, Nino de Rotton. Faults into the later stages of the course through that third and final double. 10A, 10B, three fences from home. Not the quickest round that we've seen, 69 seconds of time allowed. Want a time penalty as well. Could well get one. Going to be close, is he just over? Yes, a tick. Four for jumping, one for time. Leopold van Aston finishes on five there with VDL group Nino Duroton. So 12 gone, four clear. And fourth clear from Jessica Burke seems like a long time ago now. A run without a clear with you, another one, aren't we? Could we get one from the man that won the World Cup qualifier here 
last year. Wilm de Meer and IQ Van Hetstentia. Wilm's daughter, Robin, competing in the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy earlier this afternoon as well, just 12 years old. But Robin already following in the footsteps of her father. Front rail at that Stefix. Boxer down for Wilm Vermeer. Just wondering as well, he doesn't look particularly quick. I think he's slowed up even more since he's had that fence down. There goes another. Awesome rider combination that won the World Cup qualifier here last year. On eight at the moment and already just ticking over that time allowed of 69 seconds. What will be the final score? 76.14. Jumping and time. 16 there for Wilm Vermeer. IQ Van Het Stentia. Well, here comes Roger Yves Bost for France. A real character, real live wire in the saddle. But this is a horse that he thinks an awful lot of. Wouldn't be the easiest of rides, but Roger Yves Bost does a tremendous job keeping it all bottled up and under control. Roger, European champion back in 2013. Team gold medalist for France at the Rio Olympic Games three years later in 2016 as well. Roger Ipos, ballerine de Villepion. Little bit of a disagreement off the corner to that final line. And another one with time penalties added to the jumping faults and another that is going to slide right the way down the leaderboard. Roger Yves Bost, Ballerine de Villepion. 28 is the total. 88, 51 the time there. Well, we thought it looked easy at the start of the competition. Four clear from the first six, but it's dried up since then. And we're still on the four, and we're a third of the way through the first round now as we look to Portugal. Rodrigo Gastera Almeida and the eight-year-old Gali. This is uh, the Electro. Road to the European Championships in Milan earlier this year. Big winner in Prague at the Global Champions League final there last month. Early fence down for Rodrigo. Just a 
Just dropped off the Brian Levis so slightly there, but Rodrigo reacted quickly. Maybe not quite quick enough with the second part of that double down. Twelve faults now with one to jump. Another just over the time allowed, 12, jumping one for time. It's another on 13 there. Rodrigo Gestera Almeida and Dielectro. Fifteen gone. Four clear in the KVC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. First of the real big five-star competitions this week in Mechelen. And they are finding it very difficult indeed. Matthew Sampson was a winner earlier, though, in the Agora Trophy. And he is next to go. Just last week, he was the leading rider at the London International Horse Show. The same show where he won the Grand Prix back in 2022. That win coming with this very ride, a horse that he's produced from a novice. This is Evelensky and Matt Sampson. Won the Fox Under Championship at the Horse of the Year show a few years back. A major novice championship in Great Britain. And has then gone on to win some tremendous Grand Prix, including that one at London just over 12 months ago. First time this horse has featured for Matt this week here in Mechelen. Third in the open size of the world yesterday with the Davenport's Daniel. Winner in that Agora Trophy with Isabel Fox's MGH Candy Girl. That horse a winner in London last week as well. Two to jump. Stay careful over that red vertical. And just keep on coming down to the KBC Oxer. And there we have it. Clear round number five. It was a long time coming. It was worth the wait for Matt Sampson, though. Clear there with Evelensky. And definitely one to watch in that jump off against the clock because he is in electric form at the moment. So Matt Sampson joining Jessica Burke, Edouard Schmidt, Frederick Vanat and Gilles Thomas. But now it's Belgium again, Nicola Philippartz and Clarty Z. Nicola the winner of the Masters yesterday evening. Third in the Grand Prix here in Mechelen back in 2017 as he was in the World Cup qualifier at Verona earlier in the week. But the first fence falls, not for the first time. And uh, probably put money on it not being the last either. KBC Bank and Visa Curring trophy this evening. Well, some of the world's top 50 have really struggled this evening. And there's another one. Nicola Philippartz decides he's seen enough this evening in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. He elects to retire there with Clarty Z. But Switzerland already have one in the jump off, Edouard Schmidt. They look to get another now with a man placed fifth in the Agora trophy earlier this afternoon. He was fifth in the Grand Prix of London last Monday evening. Adrian Schmidt and the 13-year-old by Davidoff, the mayor, Diva van Schleserhoff for Switzerland.
ABC Bank Doubler Verticals. Jumped so well to take fifth in that Grand Prix of London. This has been a really good round as well for Adrian Schmid. Spoke too soon. Curse of the commentator strikes there for jumping 69.57 one time as well. Score of five for Adrian Schmid and Diva van Jelusihoff Zed. Well, we're quickly now approaching the halfway stage, and it is the five clear. Belgium with two, Switzerland, Ireland, and Great Britain all heading through. But what about this next man? He's not shy when it comes to this Christmas arena here in Mechelen. Five years ago, he won the Grand Prix here. This is Kohn Varika from the Joris de Brovanda's Casanova de la Pomme for Belgium. There, the crowd right with him rattled and rolled a few along the way but the 2018 Grand Prix winner is clear round number six this evening in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy Kohn Varika and Casanova de la Pomme quite brilliant from him so 19 gone next up is our 20th of the 46 due to start and this man there's not a lot that he hasn't done world cup winner He's ridden at all of the major championships for germany he was third in the world cup qualifier here last year fourth already this season in Helsinki with a 12-year-old stallion this is Bingo Steamel Germany's Daniel Deusser See there the horse through the front legs out. Just trying to stretch over that oxer down the far side of the arena, but not quite stretching enough. So four for Daniel Doysa, bingo, stay ML. And that's where he stays. No, he doesn't. Takes over the 69 second time allowed as well by 0.18 of a second, which means it's four jumping on one time. It's five there for Daniel Doysa, and it's six clear in total. Belgium with three. Gilles Thomas, Frederick Vanat, and Kern Verica. Switzerland's Edward Schmidt, Ireland's Jessica Burke, and Great Britain's Matt Sampson. But this next rider, a young star for Belgium, he is still young, but it looks and feels like he's been on the circuit 
for a long, long time now. 2019. Helped the Belgium team secure the gold medal. And went on to win individual bronze for the European Championships. And he was second in the World Cup qualifier here in Mechelen back in 2016. I think there is Father Axel and the team at Euro Horse with FTS Kilossary Confusion. Just Veloy. Just getting a little bit untidy down that distance there. Horse hesitating through the double and then Joss having to apply the pressure just to move them on to make the distance down to the Euro horse Oxer that follows. And a big stretch out over that Oxer at 10B. But at the moment, Joss is doing everything right to leave the fences standing with one to go. Is it clear round number four for Belgium? It is. Joss Valoy and FTS Kelossary confusion seven now in total. Well, the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy was fast and furious here 12 months ago. I think it could be even quicker for 2023. So, Italy go next. Francesca Siriesi and the 13-year-old Kate Coral. Rode at the World Championships in Herning, Denmark last year. The sixth the World Cup qualifier on home soil in Verona back in November. Big sigh there from the Belgian crowd. Finishing on just the four, the Euro horse Oxer. The Emerald Wings either side falling there for Italy's Francesca Seriesi. Score of four for her and it goes into ninth at the moment. Seven clear as things stand. Belgium with a wonderful opportunity of winning the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy for 2023. It was won last year by Lars Kirsten of the Netherlands with Halle Lee. But this man was third in this very competition here last year, but he went on to win the Grand Prix of Mechelen with Highway. Horse that he partnered to a 10th place finish individually at the European Championships earlier this year. Willem Grieve for the Netherlands, riding Minute Man. So Willem Grieve, third last year. Chance slipped away for him for 2023, as it has done with so many others. KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. Another caught out by the clock, so a total of five there for jumping one time five for Willem Grieve and the nine-year-old minute man we are halfway through now 
23 gone, 23 still to go and seven clear in this competition's opening round. But it is now the combination that won the Leon Melchior, the Zangerscheid sires of the world yesterday here in Mechelen. The rider, a team gold medalist at the Young Rider European Championships for Belgium last year. Thibaut Philip Hartz and the nine-year-old stallion by Marius Claudius. Obama de la Liniere for Belgium. so well in that science of the world yesterday this nine-year-old stallion by Marius Claudius the Olympic ride for Robert Smith Maybe he's just gonna have to keep up a big canter I think he's just starting to move on a little bit because he knows the time allowed he's gonna be a little bit tight a little bit close is he gonna sneak inside he is made a good call down that final line Thibaut Philip Hartz Jumps are clear there. Father Ludo Philip Hartz heading off down the tunnel, but we've got eight now in the jump off. And it's another, a fifth for Belgium. And we've already said it looks like it could be a very quick jump off against the clock, but we would love to see this man head through. The flying Frenchman, one of the quickest that the world has ever seen, Julien Epaillard and Cancun Torrel Z for France. Three World Cup qualifying victories. Last year's Western European League, the 22-23 season. But earlier this year, last month, he won the big one, the Super Grand Prix in Prague. That tricky red vertical out of the way. And then forward all the way down to the final fence. And he's going to be forward in that jump off against the clock. He'd love a win here in Mechelen. Julien Epaillard, Cancun, Torrel Z. Clear round number nine. And the cream definitely rising to the top here this evening in the KBC Bank and Visa Curling Trophy. 25 have gone, 21 to go. Nine clear so far already going to have to start thinking about fastening the seatbelts for that jump off against the clock. The likes of Matt Sampson, Jos Valoy, Thibaut Philip Hartz and now Julian Epaillard heading through. Could we get another for Ireland? Jessica Burke already clear. What about Jack Ryan and Guppy VDL? Jack based here in Belgium with Jos Lansing. Some big Grand Prix wins and placings over the past 12 months. He's been a familiar face on the Irish Nations Cup teams, featuring at Hickstead back in July and in the Nations Cup final in Barcelona as well.
So one fence down as he turns for home. He's going to have a time fault or two. Has to be turning down to that final line in around 59 seconds. To be with a chance of getting inside the 69 second time allowed, but Jack Ryan is over. Four for jumping. And the time as well, five from the clock, making it nine there for the young man from Ireland. 20 still to go in the first round, nine clear so far. But there's surely more clears to come. Some of the world's very best. Christian Almond remaining, Pierre Schwitzer, Jörg Breeling, Peter De Vos, Kevin Stadt. And the next to go, Eve van der Hasselt. Eve riding his own Merald van Zorgvliet, an 11 year old stallion by the Euro horse sire Emerald. A horse that was ridden by the then world number one Harry Smolders. Eve, who back in October won the two star Grand Prix in the Lever. Ridden on Belgian Nations Cup teams before now, a member of the winning team, Spruce Meadows, back in 2019. fence down as he turns for home there goes that pesky red vertical an ultimate fence on course some very big questions down that final line as the horses begin to tire 12 it is for Eve van der Hasselt and Merald van Zorgvliet nine clear so far but Germany are next to go. Man that won the World Cup qualifier here in Mechelen in 2015 and in 2018. A few weeks ago, he was third in the Grand Prix of Coruña. It's a new ride for him, this one, though. But they jumped some very good rounds in the north of Spain just under a month ago. Christian Alman here with his own 12-year-old Blueberry. World Cup winner with the Talibay Z. Stallion that has been used a lot by the Zangerscheid stud. Two time as well for jumping. Six it is for Germany's Christian Almond and Blueberry. New ride for him though. As I said, they went well in Coruña a few weeks ago. And I won't be too disappointed with that round there here this evening. But still the nine clear at the moment. But up and over the first there is the Czech Republic, Sara Vingralkova and Cass Sini, DC, a 13 year old biker Sini out of a dark home there. The Young rider from the Czech Republic, ridden at Young Rider European Championships. 
Melbourne Grand Prix in Samarin and Olomouc already this year. Start to the round with Sara Vingralkova. One to go. Clear round number 10. Yep, there we have it. The young lady from the Czech Republic rounded up to 10 in that jump off against the clock. Clear for Sara Vingralkova and Cass Sini DC. That red vertical, really the final big test on course. Not many have struggled with the final fence, the KVC Bank and these occurring Oxa. But next to go for Belgium, Thibaut Spitz and King Van Essen. Spoke a little earlier. Mike's of Gilles Thomas and Thibaut Philip Arts, members of the Belgian team that won the gold medal at the Young Rider European Championships last year. This man also a part of that team. But he went one step further to win the individual gold medal as well. Already placed today in the Agora Trophy, finishing top 10 earlier this afternoon. Stylish young rider. Stood the horse off that red vertical to give him plenty of time to pick up in front. It's close. But it's inside by 0.1 of a second. You can see the double take there from Thibaut Spitz as he glanced up to the screen just to check that he was inside. There's a wry smile on his face as well because he uh, sneaks inside the time allowed of 69 seconds. And we're up to 11 in the jump off of the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy here for 2023. Thibaut Spitz joining Sara Vingaralkova and nine others in the jump off against the clock. But it's Great Britain's turn once more, already with a place in the jump off in the form of Matt Sampson. But this is Robert Whitaker and the Argento side 10 year old stallion, Vermento. Rob, who was third in the Agora Trophy, placed earlier this afternoon. But a big winner on home soil at Hickstead back in July as he won the Grand Prix at the Royal International Horse Show winning the King George V Gold Cup, competition that Rob has always wanted to win. And there were some big celebrations as he did just that for 2023. Signed by Argento, Grand Prix ride of Rob's dad, John. It's John that bred this Stallion now owned by the Blatchfords. Made a little comment yesterday evening whilst watching this horse jump in the size of the world. It's such a big, powerful horse. Just struggles on occasions in this tight indoor Christmas arena in the Necker Hall of Mechelen. Occasions Rob just having to work, make sure Vermento's right there with him. One to jump, placed already today in the Agora Trophy, but that final fence has gone. It's not caused many problems at all 
in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. You need a thought, Rob and Vermento would have jumped that all day long, but down it goes from the slightest touch for faults for Great Britain's Rob Whittaker. Eleven clear so far. Fifteen to go in the first round. And the next is for Belgium. Lady that really burst on the scene during the 2018-2019 Western European League. A big winner in the World Cup qualifier of Helsinki on that occasion. Gudrun Patet and Seacoast Mona Lisa van Paradijs. See there, Gudrun Bertet just turning as soon as she landed to save an extra second or two because although the time allowed hasn't caused too many problems, they can't afford to, to take too many pulls. That red vertical goes as well, so a score of eight for Gudrun Batet. Then with the 11-year-old Seacoast Mona Lisa van Paradise. 11 clear. As we look to the next, he was second in the BMW Masters here yesterday evening. He picked up several podium placings on home soil in Geneva just two weeks ago. Could he give us clear round number 12? More than capable riding. Oliver de Coulombs, 10-year-old gelding by Celano Alpha Z. Chelsea Z, it's Switzerland. Here's Schwitzer. So he's made up a little bit of time early in the course, can just afford to take a little bit of a check into that double at 10. But now has to be so careful. Defence number 12, that vertical. And he is. Doesn't make the same mistake as Rob Whitaker and jumps that final fence. So we are now up to 12, clear for Pierre Schwitzer. And Chelsea Z. 12 clear, 13 to go in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy of 2023. As I said, last year's winner, Lars Kirsten for the Netherlands, not competing here this year, so we're going to have a new name to the trophy for 2023. And it could well be the next man. This is uh, for the Netherlands. Jörg Freeling and Jordain V. Diel. Nine-year-old guarding by Zapatero out of a Darko mare. Fairly new ride for Jörg Reeling, this one. But he was third in the Grand Prix of London just over a week ago. He's ridden at World and European Championships and Olympic Games for the Netherlands. has been such a reliable, dependable rider for their teams.
Close on the clock. Ah, he's over. 69.11. Didn't deserve that at all. But you cannot afford to take a check anywhere on this course designed by Bart Vonk and Eddie Geismans. And sadly, you're reeling falls foul to the time allowed. 12 clear, and you're reeling with the one time penalty goes into 13th place there. On board Jordan VDL, new ride for him though. It's a partnership that are looking set to build and build. So Piers Schwitzer and Chelsea Z, the last of the clears, but Peter DeVos goes next with casual DVZ, an eight year old mare by corner to Blensky for the man that was second in the Grand Prix here in 2017 already this year. Placed in the World Cup qualifiers in Lyon, where he was fifth, and Coruña, where he was eighth. Got a little bit of time just to sit and wait to this vertical, which he does want to go. And we've got another clear for Belgium. This time it's Peter De Vos. We thought we had the 13th clear with Gervreling, but not to be with the time fault. But he gets it right, Peter De Vos does. And he uh, provides us with clear round number 13. Clear for Peter and casual DVZ. Julien Ampayard is already clear for France, but next is Kevin Stadt, Vivant Grafinias PS. Eight year old mare by Vivant van der Heffing for the 2009 individual European champion. And a member of the French team that won the gold medal at the Rio Olympics in 2016. On the World Cup qualifier in Stuttgart, earlier in the Western European League. And straight away is 20 points towards the league series on the scoreboard points that he's picked up elsewhere in the likes of Madrid. And there he had to keep moving to the red. Going to be close on the clock as well, but he's just the right time of the 69 second time allowed. And it's another clear. 14 now. Kevin Stout of France, former European champion, is through. To the jump off with Vivant Grafinia PS. So the next to go is Jordi van Massenhover for Belgium with Danger Civil van der Lindenhof Z. 11 year old stallion by Diamant. Now, this horse won the two star Grand Prix here in Mechelen 12 months ago. Now, with Jordi van Massenhover. Finding his luck a little bit out there on course.
Oh, I don't think that fence has gone at all. You know, Roger Ifbos had a bit of a disagreement to that Oxford, but it stayed in the cups all evening until now. 67-44, score of eight for Jordi van Massenhover and Danger Civil van der Lindenhof Zed. So nine still to go. We've got New Zealand, Austria, Sweden, Belgium, Italy, Great Britain, Netherlands and Germany all still to come. Fourteen clear so far. Next up for New Zealand, the man that rode at the World Cup final earlier this year. 11th in the Grand Prix of Rabat back in October. This is Philip Steiner. He's only 11-year-old mare by Dorado, Casina Dior. But already a fence on the floor. Eight faults at the moment for Philip Steiner. That now goes up to 12. Not the stride he wanted to that red vertical and then has to pull out. Just to not affect the distance down to the final fence as well, but he's just going to circle and come back and jump it at the second time of asking which he does he jumps it well there to finish on uh, jumping in time 28 for philip steiner of new zealand with casina dior until the 28 there for them but this next man the iconic colors the green with the orange trim Austria's Gerfried Puck. What a career this man has had, long and illustrious. His senior championship debut came at the Europeans in 1999. But he was on the Austrian team that were bronze medalists at the European Championships in Milan earlier this year. Gerfried Puck and the 11-year-old Equitron Melody van der Smitshover for Austria. Jumped a tremendous round in the Agora Trophy earlier this afternoon as well. to the final fence and what could be clear round number 15 and it is 67-08 he's gone and done it once more clear after clear already this week here in Mechelen clear round number 15 to Austria's Guthrie Puck and Equitron Melody van der Smitshover Austria now in that party the jump off against the clock 15 so far and there's still surely more to come with seven left in the draw we are in for a real treat in this jump off against the clock that i can guarantee you sweden now petronella anderson and castre van der bijnakazad sweden in such a strong position in world show jumping right now gold medals at major championships 
And of course, they have the world number one, Henrik von Eckermann, as well. This lady was a Grand Prix winner on home soil, the four-star Grand Prix of Stockholm earlier this year. Just out of the top 10 in the Agora Trophy earlier this afternoon, but she's not going to be placed here in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring trophy because there's four faults there for Petronella Anderson and cast three van der Bijanaka Z. We're hoping that she stays on the four but with another fence going and another one down that final line total of 12 68.04 not the end of the round that she would have wanted there Petronella Anderson total of 12 and 15 still in the jump off for now. Zoals we al vaker gezegd, het afgelopen half uur of uur, we hebben net wat Belgen in de barrage. Maar die zitten er redelijk aan het begin van de barrage. Het zou ons maar wat goed uitkomen om ook een snelle, straffe Belg aan het einde van de barrage te hebben. En daar kan deze man voor zorgen. Werd kerstvers tot de well, to go. But just two nights back, this man was crowned the Belgian indoor champion of 2023 here in the Neckerhal of Mechelen. Jerome Appelen and the 10-year-old gelding by Monte Bellini. Monte Blue PS. Belgian indoor champion. Could he be the champion in the KBC Bank and Visa Curling Trophy this evening? So four at the moment for the newly crowned indoor champion. And he's just over the time allowed. 69.34, jumping one time, five for Jerome Appelen and Monte Blue PS. There's just five left to go. Italy, Great Britain, Belgium, Netherlands, and Germany. This is Italy that go next. 12-year-old mare by Nabab Derev, and a corner to Obolensky mare. Registered with the Zangerscheid stud book, of course, the Zangerscheid stud, a real powerhouse in uh, not only Belgian breeding, but world breeding in international show jumping. Nalu of Greenhill Z. For a man that this year has picked up wins in Verhe and Valencia and was top 10 in the Agora Trophy. That is Italy's Andrea Calabro. First part of the Longines double. Longines, of course, the uh, sponsors of the FEI Jumping World Cup. Seeing and hearing plenty of them come Saturday afternoon for that Longines FEI Jumping World Cup qualifier here in Mechelen. another with a very difficult stride going into that double exactly as we saw with Niels Broinseels to see this combination remain up and at it with two to jump just getting a little bit untidy the reins a little long down that final line to the KBC bank fence so 17 it is with the jumping in time for Italy's Andrea Calabro 
and Nalu of Greenhill Z. 15 clear. Fifteen clear at the moment, and still four left to go. There's another chance for Belgium, Netherlands, and Germany. But the next is the young man from Great Britain. He was second in the under-25 Grand Prix in Geneva just a few weeks ago. He is a former national champion in Britain. He won that title with the ride How Easy that we saw competing for Sara Vingralkova earlier today. He won that title back in 2022. Robert Murphy next to go, riding for Jos Lansing then, with a nine-year-old stallion by Cicero. Catch me, Van Birkenbroek. Now both Robert Murphy and Ireland's Jack Ryan riding for Jos Lansing. It's a horse that we've seen ridden by Jack before now, but it's Robert who takes the reins here in Mechelen for 2023. FEI jumping World Cup fence down for Rob. We've been based in Belgium with Jos Lansing since earlier this year. So he's made some very big steps in the past few months and finishes there on the nine with eight jumping one time, nine for Robert Murphy and Catch Me Van Berkenbroek. So Belgium have got several riders through to the jump off already and now they look to get another. Their final opportunity for a clear here this evening is uh, Jules van Hoydonk and the 11 year old Mint van Bishop. Jules, who has ridden at Young Rider European Championships on the winning Young Rider Nations Cup team in Centaur last year, Grand Prix winner in Lier as well. Jules van Hoydonk and Gert van Hoydonk's Mint van der Bishop. The luck on his side at the moment. Just half an hour on the time, he turns in tight to the final line. One to jump for Jules Van Hoydonk. And they've done it, 67-23. 16 in the jump off now. And Jules Van Hoydonk has himself a very good draw. Gonna be right towards the end, if not last depending on whether our final two can produce clears here in the first round of the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy of 2023. Two left to go. Still one for Germany. And this young man for the Netherlands. 
this season. He's placed in Stuttgart and Verona, but back in 2018, he caused a real upset in Great Britain to win the big Grand Prix at Hickstead's Royal International Horse Show, the King George V Gold Cup. One of the youngest riders to ever lift that title. here Camilla van der Hell again just turns in a little bit tighter to that final line 16 clear at the moment and we're gonna stay on 16 for now because that red vertical has gone again and it's four for Kevin Jochum's Camilla van der Hel, 4 and 66.76. 16 clear. One on one time penalty. That goes into 19th place for Kevin Jochums and Camilla van der Hel. So it's 16 clear at the moment, but you wouldn't bet against it being 17 because there's one left to go. And this young lady for Germany has made a real impact on Nations Cup teams this season. She's been jumping clear rounds for the German side and she picked up three top five finishes in London just over a week ago. Kendra Clarissa Brinkhoff and do it easy. Really steadied up nicely through that double of verticals. The horse taking a little bit of extra care. Okay, fence number nine, a very hard rattle. But no sign of four faults yet. The quickest that we've seen though, but keeps up a forward rhythm there going to be very close to the time allowed I think she's going to be over and she is 69.55 not the first to be caught out by the clock it's one time penalty for Kendra Clarissa Brinkhoff and do it easy foot perfect round made it look very easy indeed except a little bit steady across the ground and caught out by that 69 second time allowed so of course one Time penalty for every commence second over. One there for Hendra Clarissa Brinkhoff. So that draws to a close the first round of the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy, the big five star competition on day three here in the Jumping Mechelen of 2023. And it's 16 clear that we'll return. Gilles Thomas will be first to go. Frederick Vernat, Edward Schmidt, Jessica Burke, Matt Sampson and Cohen Varika, Matt Sampson, a winner earlier today. Cohen Varika, of course, Grand Prix winner back in 2018. Jos Veloy, Thibaut Philippartz, Juliana Payard, Sarah Vingralkova, Thibaut Spitz and Piers Schwitzer. Jos Veloy, second in the World Cup qualifier here in 2016. Juliana Payard, one of the fastest that we have ever seen. And then heading on down that line, we see those that have picked up jumping and time penalties as well. But uh, Pierre Schwitzer, he will be 12th to go in the jump off, followed then by Peter DeVos, Kevin Stanker, Fried Puck, and Yul van Huydong. The 16 clear in round number one. That jump off is on the way in a moment's time. Do not go too far because with the 16 through, it is gonna be one of the fastest jump offs that we have ever seen, I think, this evening here in Mechlin. The jump off for the KBC Bank and Visa Caring Trophy is on the way.
ding is zeker. We hebben als België het numerieke overwicht. Er komen er dadelijk 14 in de Christmas Arena terug. En acht daarvan dragen of hebben de Belgische nationaliteit. Dat is iets om naar uit te kijken op zijn minst en op zijn zachtst gezegd. Een mix tussen jong en iets ouder, een mix tussen talent en ervaring, alles zit. Dat is wel minder. Dat zijn kosten. Maar het is wel onze vriend Wim Sanders, die hier al jarenlang van morgens tot avonds met de tractor rondrijdt. Het is geen probleem, Wim. Gelukkig is Wim een handige. En in zijn vrije tijd soms een schrijnwerker. Het is een betere schrijnwerker dan tractorbestuurder. Even terug naar ons verhaal. Acht Belgen, veertien deelnemers in de barrage van de prijs KBC Bank en Verzekering. Om ze allemaal te overlopen, dat zal ik nu even doen, maar dan gaan we eens polshoogte hoogte nemen. Wie van de Belgen de favoriet is van het Mechels publiek? Ik overloop ze even met u, dames en heren. Allemaal Gilles Thomas, Frederik Vernaat, Edward Schmitz, Jessica Burke, Matthew Sampson, Koen Vereke, Jos Verlooy, Thibaut Filibaerts, Sarah Vingralkova, Thibaut Spits, Pio Schwitzer, Pieter de Vos, Gertrit Boek en Jules van Ooydonk. Mag ik eens even vragen aan het Mechels publiek? Wie Zet zijn zin op. Wie denkt dat Gilles Thomas met de overwinning naar huis gaat? Dat zijn er toch behoorlijk wat. Waar zitten de supporters van Frederik Vernaat? Die zijn er zeker weten wel. Die zijn iets meer verlegen. Waar zitten de supporters van Koen Verreke? Die zijn er ook. En die van Jos Verlooy? Dat zijn er allemaal meer. En die van Thibaut Filibaert? Dat zijn er weer wat meer. En die van Thibaut Spits? Dat zijn er ook weer wat meer. Die van Pieter de Vos? Er worden er altijd maar meer. En waar zijn de supporters van onze jongste vriend, Jules van Ooydonk? Ah. Die jongen die gaat straks niet weten wat hij meemaakt. Zijn hoofd maar kan koel houden. Maar we gaan er alles aan doen om hem te helpen. Intussen ziet u dat de barrage omloop voor hem krijgt. Dames en heren, de barrage omloop krijgt voor hem. We starten straks op hindernis 13, de okser van KBC. We gaan naar 9. Maar alleszins één ding moet u weten, de laatste hindernis, dat is hindernis 8, dames en heren. De okser richting VIP. We gaan er bijna aan beginnen. De barrage van de prijs KBC Bank en Verzekering. Well, the stage is very nearly set for the jump off against the clock of the KPC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. We are just getting the news, in fact, that the two riders from France that made it through to the jump off, Julianne Payard and Kevin Stout, I believe have elected to withdraw from the jump off against the clock this evening. We'll just await confirmation, but it looks very much as if the two Frenchmen, Epaillard and Stout, have withdrawn from the jump off against the clock. Well, that jump off consists of fences 13, 9, 10, A, 10, B, 2, 4, B, 7, A, and 8. 
So, starting at fence number 13, it was the final fence in round number one, the KBC Bank Oxer. They head around the corner then to fence number nine, the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup of Mechelen Vertical. Before that curved line down to the multicolored double, the vertical to the Oxa, 10A to 10B. There's then a long run down the Christmas Arena, the opposite side of the in gate to the BMW Oxa at two. Before then a tight turn back inside to the Longine vertical, the second part of the double at 4B. It is then a rat race for home. They land and it's foot to the floor from there on in. They head to the next of the fences, which is fence 7A, the first part of the KBC double of verticals, and then a long, long run for home. It was the Euro Horse Oxa in round number one, but it's been changed to the Longines fence now for this jump off against the clock. The time allowed is 52 seconds. We saw 16 clear in round number one. We believe 14 of those returning to battle it out against the clock with a strong contingent for Belgium here in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. Now the young man that looks to throw down the gauntlet, he is the trailblazer in this jump off against the clock. A young rider, European gold medalist, a winner of some of the world's biggest Grand Prix already in his young years. This is Belgium's Jill Thomas, the first to go, riding the nine-year-old Elfra van Beek Z. Time allowed, 52 seconds. Final fence on course. Now the Longines Oxer at fence number eight. Starting at fence 13. left-handed back to fence number nine seven strides then into that double but faults at the first part the vertical in before the right-handed turn back to fence number two the BMW fence inside once more back to the Longines fence he tried to turn back even with that fence down he was still pushing and gambling Then the final line, that KBC vertical and concluding over the Longines Oxa. 48-68, had to give it a go, didn't he? There's no other option there for Gilles Thomas. Always tough going first in the jump off against the clock, especially with so many still to go following him. But it's eight there for Gilles Thomas and Elfra van Beek Z. Om de tweede Belg te verwelkomen. Hij heeft een razendsnel paard en weet zelf ook van wat er gaat al enkele wendingen inoefenen en gaat het zichzelf en zijn paard inprenten hoe het moet gebeuren in de barrage van de prijs. Well, the Belgian crowd are on the edge of their seats and they're in fine voice. Those of you that stayed with us in the build-up for the jump off, you'll have heard them cheering for their favourite riders here this evening. One of them being this man on board the nine-year-old Akina van der Biaam, Belgium's. Frederick Vernat. Very quick in the early stages of the course. Now he starts to gallop. Doesn't get the turn inside. Bit less bridle as well, but still pushing on. Now one to jump. Frederick Vernat, Akina van der Bien. Is this the first clear? It is 36.33. Now the game's on in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. And it's Belgium that take charge. Frederick Vernat and Akina. Van der Bien. Hij is blij en wij zijn blij, want we hebben de eerste foutloze barrage te pakken. 36, 33, 
That could have blown this competition wide open because now the pressure is on and there's still 12 to jump off against the clock. Belgium lead, Frederick Van Aert, Akina van der Bien. And now the first of two in the jump off for Switzerland. Young man, career winner of the Dublin Grand Prix. Edward Schmitz and Kuno. About a second down, and now a fence down as well. On four, one fence to jump. Still Frederick Van Aert leads, very, very close to that final fence, four at the last as well, giving Edward Schmitz a score of... Eight, eight there for Edouard and Kuno 39.04 and it is confirmed the two Frenchmen Epaillard and Stout withdraw from the jump off of the KBC Bank and Visa Curring trophy here this evening meaning that there's still 11 left to go one double clear Frederick Vernat leads Edouard Schmitz in second Gilles Thomas in third and now the uh, challenge from Ireland. She can, on her day, be unbelievably quick. It is Ireland's Jessica Burke, Nike H H 36-33 to beat. tight line between the first two fences but has to keep up that pace because she's now chasing down hunting down Frederick Vanat and Akina van der Bien she's very quick away from that double had to take a little bit of a check there tight to the wing as she turns back to the Longines vertical now it's the gallop for home she was landing there in 27 seconds, not the stride she wanted to that vertical, but it's going to be close. Here she comes, Jessica Burke, Nike, HH, could not be closer, but just over a second off the pace, 37-41. It is a clear, and it goes into second, but it's still Frederick Van Aert leading for Belgium with Akina Van de Bien. The Belgian crowd were on the edge of their seat, down that line to fence number eight the final fence and the jump off but they can breathe a sigh of relief for now because their rider Frederick Van Aert is still leading this jump off but the challenges come thick and fast here this evening how about this man and the horse that he has produced all the way up from a novice to winning Grand Prix in the likes of London. Matt Sampson and Ebelensky for Great Britain. Stormed to victory in the Agora earlier this afternoon. Won that by almost three seconds. And now he's galloping and he's inside. Does he get away with it? Ah, not quite. Not quite for Matt Sampson and Ebelensky. They were brave. And they were quicker. 35-89. Score of four, though, for Matt Sampson. Ebelensky drops them down the order into third. Jessica Burke second. Frederick Van Aert still leading Belgium, Ireland and Great Britain first, second and third. Five gone. 
en dan natuurlijk al de rest nog goed door te komen. Look at that, the turn inside. Die maakt aanspraak op de tijd van Frederik en Okina. Brilliant effort from Matt Sampson, but not to be for them. This man produced an unbelievable round to win the Grand Prix here in Mechelen in 2018. He's going to have to pull something out of the hat, very similar indeed tonight if he's to catch Frederik van Aert. Kern reconnects for Belgium with Casanova Della Pomme. I think anyone that's going to catch Frederik van Aert must be landing from that Longines vertical in the centre of the Christmas arena in around 26 seconds to be in touch. But a long way home now for Kohn Varika. With that first fence falling, Casanova de la Palme. steadied right up towards the end of the round. To score four there, Kohn Varika and Casanova de la Pomme. Casanova delighted with the round, but I think Kohn will be slightly disappointed with the four faults into fourth. He goes 43-36. So it's Frederick Vanat, Jessica Burke and Matt Sampson. First, second and third. Six have gone. Eight still to have their say in this KBC Bank and Visa Caring Trophy. Belgium go again. Jos Valois and the 13-year-old FTS Colossary Confusion. Again, that time to beat 36-33. Must be landing from the Longines vertical in around 26, 27 seconds to be in touch. Lucky there. But now he starts to gallop. And the Mechelen crowd are with him every stride of the way. Jos Valoy in touch to beat 36 33. One to go. Can't afford to take a pull. Is he going to do it? Is he going to edge out the current leader, Frederick Van 36 42. Not quite. 0 0.09 of a second slower. Jos Valoy into second. Frederick Van Aert still leads. Oh, it is close. At the top end of the leaderboard now for the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. Seven left to go. Seven have gone so far. Vernat leads, Valois second, Burke third, Samson fourth, Verica fifth, and Schmitz sits in sixth. But this man was a winner in the size of the world yesterday. Belgium again, Obama de la Liniere and Thibaut Philip Hartz. And again, the second Belgian rider to fault at the first fence. And you can see there Thibaut's dad, Ludo Philip Hartz, a tremendous rider in his time. Look at disappointment on his face as he watches on from the in gate.
And the last goes as well. Disappointing round for Thibaut Philippartz. Eight there, 40.54 with Obama de la Linea. Combination that jumped exceptionally well yesterday, but the first and last stand in the jump off here this evening. Eight volts for Thibaut. Belgian leading. Well, Belgium first and second, in fact, Ireland third. But there's one representative from the Czech Republic here this week in Mechelen, and here she is, Sara Vingralkova and Cass Sini, DC. Really starting to motor. Needs to because she's about a second down on the split time there. Lands in 27. Time to beat 36 33. Is she going to catch him? Not quite. 37 41 double clear. 1.08 of a second off that time. 37 41. It's exactly the same score as Jessica Burke and Nike HH, which means we've got equal third now. Jessica Burke and Sarah Vingralkova. Great effort, and into third. Tremendous performance from Sarah Vingralkova. Tied with Jessica Burke. Jos Valoy second, Frederick Vanat still top of the order as things stand. But the next, another of Belgium's young rising stars. Individual gold medal at the Young Rider European Championships. Thibaut Spitz and the 13-year-old Kalido side guarding King Van Essen. Whistles from the crowd. A little bit of work to do for Thibaut Spitz. But he's not far off as he lands there in 27. Good turn back as well to the penultimate fence. 36-33 still leads. That time under threat, but another. Not quite quick enough. 37-65 and it goes into fifth place, I believe, there for Thibaut Spitz. Another brilliant try. Superb effort. Thibaut Spitz slots into sixth place. Still Frederick Vanat leading. But as we look at the order, there's four still to go. Belgium, two opportunities for them, Austria and the next for Switzerland, 36-33 still, that target time, Pierre Schwitzer and Chelsea Zed came so close to a big win in Geneva just a couple of weeks ago will it come good for Pierce here this evening, will he get the win that he thoroughly deserves with his form of late Big, big jump over the first oxer. Wasted a little bit of time in the air. Just that seven strides into the double. Made up the ground nice and early. Not far off the leading time. You can see why Matt Sampson tried that turn inside. Four seconds to get home. Pierre Schwitzer 
and Chelsea's head. Another super effort, 37-64. It's clear for Pierre Schwitzer. 37-64 on the clock, and that goes into fifth place there for him. Thibaut Spitz drops to sixth, but it's Sarah Vingralkova and Jess Burke sharing third. Jos Veloy second, and Frederick Vernat still leading the way. Frederick Vernat. He was second to go in this jump off against the clock, and at the moment he's managed to fight off every single challenger, but he knows the last three are so competitive. Two of them for Belgium as well, including one of their leading riders over the past 10 years now. He was second in the Grand Prix here back in 2017. Peter De Vos and casual DVZ. just an eight-year-old how much will DeVos push this young talented horse mare by corner to Blensky he's definitely not hanging around is he and he's not far off Frederick Vanat's time of 36.33 good shot and now it's the gallop for home has to gamble here. 36-33 to beat. Has he done it? Has DeVos done it? No. 36-54. And it's only good enough for third. A superstar of an eight-year-old. But into third, casual DVZ and Peter DeVos. Frederick Vanat leads for another round. But two still to go. Belgium's Jules van Hooydonk and the next man for Austria. Placed in the Agora Trophy earlier this afternoon. A major championship career that has, at the moment, spanned 24 years and is still going strong. With the Austrian team that won the bronze at the European Championships earlier this year. Gerfried Puck of Austria with Equitron Melody van der Smitshover. It's tried a long way off to that second fence in the jump off. Lucky there. Now he can start to gallop a little bit more. Hands and heels down to the BMW Oxer. Slices across that at the angle to get this inside turn. Does he get the stride? He does. Lands in 25. He's quicker. Using all of his experience here in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. Gerfried Puck. One fence to jump. Have we got a new leader? Yes, we have. 35-92. And that was brilliant. That was absolutely sensational. From the man from Austria. Third on the podium at the European Championships. He could be top of the podium this evening, though, here in Mechelen. The way he sliced across the Oxa here, that BMW fence dropped inside hoped and prayed and it paid off because he got the stride he needed there to the vertical sensational round for Gerfried Puck and he now leads with a new time to beat 35.92 but it's not done yet there's one still to go and it is the young man from Belgium looking to make a mark here this year in Mechelen uh, it would be some Mark Mays if he was to pull it out of the bag and win here in the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy. A mountain to climb for him, 35.92 to beat. Jules van Hooydonk and Mint van der Bischoff.
This is quick. He's up on the clock. He's gone round there. Ten seconds to get home. 35.92. He could do it. He's got it. It's there. Has he gone quick enough? The time was a little bit slower anyway, but that final fence goes as well. Four for Jules van Hooydonk and Minter van der Bischoff. What a brave effort from final draw. It was a superb try. And we'll be hearing much more from that young man, Jules van Hooydonk. Not only here this week in Mechelen, but in the future as well. The crowd here in the Necker Hall of Mechelen appreciate the effort from that man. But it is a score of four for Jules van Hooydonk. Minter van de Bischoff. And it means it's Austria that take the victory. Belgium then second, third and fourth. And we've got equal fifth. Ireland's Jessica Burke and Sara Vin Gralkova. But what a round it was. What a jump off we have witnessed and what a round to win it. The KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy for 2023 is going to Austria. The winner with Equitron Melody van der Smitova is Gerfried Puck. And stay with us because our presentation is on the way in just a moment's time.
een tussendoortje. De heren Boucheron en Verambe van KBC worden door de Seven en door de familie van Lent een BMW voorgereden bij ons in de prijsuitrekking. Well, just a moment to catch our breath, and we needed that moment, didn't we? Well, it was a thrilling jump off against the clock for the KBC Bank and Visa Caring Trophy of 2023. It was quite brilliant here in Mechelen 12 months ago, but I think what we have seen this evening has well and truly surpassed that because the winner leading them in there for Austria is Gerfried Buch and Equitron Melody van der Smitshover. The spotlight on that man. His first major championship appearance for the Austrian teams came at the European Championships back in 1999, but he was still there earlier this year, the 2023 European Championships in Milan, and he helped the Austrian team claim the bronze medal. It has been a year to remember for Gerfried Puck, and it gets better and better. As he wins the KBC Bank and Visa Caring Trophy, the 2023 running Equitron Melody van der Smitshover. You can er as a clock op gelijk zetten dat deze rubriek zoveel spectacle en zoveel sport oplevert. Zoals we zeiden, de sleutel naar de overwinning lag in die ene wending. Eén iemand heeft die wending zonder kleerscheuren doorgebracht. En hij is uiteindelijk de geweldige winnaar geworden van deze geweldige rubriek. Met Equitron Melody van de Smitshover voor Oostenrijk, Gerfried Boek. The hat raised aloft in the Christmas arena here this evening, and rightly so as well. The iconic colours, the green and the orange trim, sit top of the podium. Gerfried Puck, Equitron Melody van der Smitshover, securing the victory for Austria. And a moment now. For the national anthem of our winner, Gerfri Puck of Austria. Proud moment for Gerfried Puck. Possibly a tear in the eye there as well as the Austrian anthem plays aloud in the Necker Hall here in Mechelen. Congratulations from all angles. The organising committee, FEI representatives and of course the sponsors. What wonderful sponsors they are as well. The KBC Bank, long-time sponsors here at the Jumping Mechelen event in Belgium. And it is a win for Geoffrey Puck, Equitron, Melody van der Smitshover. And as we head down the line, what a great try from this man. He did all he could from second in the draw. Second was Frederick Van Aert and Akina van der Bien. Jos Veloy and FTS Colossary Confusion finish in third. Peter De Vos, casual, DVZ in fourth. And then nothing to separate the two ladies finishing in equal fifth. Jessica Burke of Ireland, Nike HH. And Sara Vingralkova of the Czech Republic with Cass Sini, DC. The roar from the crowd for the best of the Belgians. Frederick Van Aert, Akina van der Bien.
second to go in that jump off against the clock. Did all he could and must have thought for a moment or two that he'd done enough to win it here this evening. Jos Verloy, then Peter De Vos, round off the second, third and fourth for the Belgian riders. Then Ireland and Czech Republic share the honours in fifth. Jess Burke and Sarah Fingralkova. Well, now we begin to look forward to what tomorrow has to offer here in Mechelen. We've got the Grand Prix and, of course, the Grand Prix Freestyle. The FEI Dressage World Cup qualifier here in Mechelen, leg six of the Western European League. And, of course, the first competition of the Driving World Cup qualifier as well. But it all builds nicely towards the big competition of the week here in Mechelen, that Longines FEI Jumping World Cup of Mechelen here on Saturday afternoon due to start just before 3 o'clock. But it's been wonderful support. Wonderful sport here this evening in Mechelen. We say good night, but before we do, we say congratulations to the winner of the KBC Bank and Visa Curring Trophy for 2023 for Austria, Equitron Melody van der Smitsova and Gerfri Puck.